It's National Signing Day across the country, and as they say at Bemidji State, it's just like Christmas morning. 35 student athletes put pen to paper for the Beavers today, who look to build on the team's recent success. There was no position the Beavers received more commitments from than in the secondary. And with the talented senior class graduating and the changes in modern defenses, it's a group they felt they had to hit hard. A lot of times we have you know, five DBs on the field. It'd be nice to even put six DBs on the field at times. So I think Coach Bish, when he got over here, I think we all looked at him, Coach Downer, too. It's just like we need to get more of those athletes and maybe change the way that we recruit a little bit. One defensive back coming in is Colton Herman, the Alaska Gatorade Player of the Year, who is joined with his teammate at East Anchorage, defensive end Julian Baker. The coaches up there identified, too, and had a lot of good things to say. So uh, Coach Downer uh, got on him after camp season, and, and uh, lo and behold, they came down and ended up in the, in the green and whites. Offensively, a big focus was in the trenches with five offensive linemen signing today. With multiple players set to graduate in the coming years, the Beavers feel that they have reloaded well. I mean, we're going to have four or five all-conference kids leaving the next year or two. If you can get two or three a year at the O-line group and then hopefully get some you know, walk-on guys that can fill in and go. But uh, ever since Coach Scholz has been here, I think we've put more resources, number one. We've probably offered more alignment and put money into it. And then we've also probably just looked at get, getting more depth. Bemidji State brings in six receivers, including Jared Crean and Ray Heilman, both who the team expects to contribute quickly. The two highlight a group that should excel in the slot. I wouldn't say that we were looking to take three slots or, or those type of guys, but they're just the best available at that time. And so, you know, we have some taller receivers. Last year's group was probably a little bit bigger, you know, 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", receivers it seemed like, so it bounced out this year. The Beavers always emphasize hitting their own backyard, and with 16 coming in from Minnesota and 11 from Wisconsin, the Beavers certainly accomplished their goal. It might be the, the most talented Wisconsin group that we've had, and last year I thought our, our Minnesota kids were just phenomenal, so... And the best part of last year's recruiting classes are here. The kids are working, and, the, and that group is going to show up on the field a lot, and just like I would assume this 2019 group will do as well. Here's a look at the 18 names that the Beavers signed from Minnesota. And if you're looking at this list and saying, hey, I know a few of these names, well, you're probably right. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.